Hello guys, welcome to WindowsReport.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix the missing API MS Win CRT runtime.dll file in Windows. This is a very common DLL error. And in this video, I'm going to show you a few easy solutions to try and solve this problem. <music> Firstly, we're going to run the SFC scanner by clicking on the search box and then type in here CMD. Then right click on command prompt and run as administrator. User account control will appear, just click on yes. And then in control panel, you're going to have to type in SFC space slash scan now. So this scan will scan your important system files and will try to fix the missing files or maybe the corrupt files so this thing can fix your problem. But if not, stay in this video because I'm going to show you a few other solutions. You can also use a dedicated software to fix the problem. The software is called ReImage. This program, you're going to have the download link for it in the description down below. Just download it and install it from there. And then open the program once you install it and it will analyze your operating system and will tell you if you have any issues and hopefully will fix your DLL problem. This is a very recommended software for DLL errors. So I think it's a very good idea to go in the description down below and download this program. Another good solution for this problem would be to download the missing DLL file from a website like dllfiles.com. Just go on this website, you're gonna have the link in the description down below. Go on this website and here you can search for your missing DLL file and you can replace it in your Windows operating system. As easy as that. So hopefully after watching this video you fixed your problem and the DLL error is not appearing anymore. So this was the video guys. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel with the notification bell activated so you won't miss any future uploads. Also don't forget to leave a comment down below with problems that you have on your Windows operating system and we can try to solve your issue in the next video. Until next time, have a nice day.